Well, hey, water signs. Welcome in, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I hope you're doing great today. Hope you're doing great. Let's see where we go here. Um, this is a general read. Feel free to swap around the characters as always. I could be talking to a cross watcher. So if you're new to the channel, welcome in. A warm welcome to you. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about the spiritual business class. Yes, we're doing that in September. There's also a beginner's one, which is about like hammering out what your idea is, is and figuring out how it would get monetized. So um, if you want to uh, open a business that has to do with your calling, your spiritual calling, then I'm going to teach you everything I know um, about doing that and share with you a lot of what I know, well, all of what I know about YouTube and all of this kind of experience because it's been amazing. This is like the third year of the channel. So um, super grateful for this experience. It's been amazing. All right, so if you want to sign up for that stuff, it's down below. And yes, I've been getting a lot of requests for the class that we did the other night and the basic astrology class. The class the other night was Plutonian relationships. Um, they are not twin flame relationships, but they can be. It's really a little bit overlapping, and I'm trying to show you through astrology how you figure out which is which. All right, so if you want that, we're going to put up the link by Monday, I believe. But if you were in the class, then you'll be getting that replay um, I think you might have already gotten it. All right, let's see where we go here. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Moving into Uranus in retrograde, pushing people out of their comfort zone. It's in Taurus, so I was just talking to the Earth sign folks, especially in Taurus. If you're any planets around 10 degrees Taurus, it's going to be a big deal. All right, might want to look at that. All right, here and now, by the book soulmates. <laughs> this is about getting yourself really grounded, okay, about doing things one step at a time, um, not going too fast, being very mindful of what you're looking for in the relationship. I do feel like um, you have some new epiphanies um, to come to very soon about relationships for yourself, things that you're willing to do, things you're not willing to do anymore, okay? What is it that you're really wanting? And when Uranus is in retrograde, it's a really great time to do meditation and connect with your, with your higher self and understand yourself uh, in terms of what is healthy for you and what is not healthy for you. So that's going to be happening um, with this Uranus in retrograde period. Okay, let's see where we go. Ten of Wands underneath. I am getting some healing here in preparation for a new offer. All right, and the bottom of the deck has been very powerful this week. Nine of Cups, it's exactly what you've been looking for. But you've gotta put down some old mindsets or some old baggage. Whoops, come here you, Ten of Wands. It's time to put down just your old patterns. Things you've been doing unconsciously. Well, this is just how I do relationship. No, this is the time to really think about that. Okay, think about, oopsie, okay, you guys are jumping out here. Um, this is all part of the reading, so I'm just going to do it as I'm supposed to be doing it, like this. Devil, two of pentacles. It's sort of like, get on with the reading. The cards are yelling at me. Okay, I will. Um, Capricorn energy here, two of pentacles, nine of pentacles. I'll take you through this in a, in a lot more depth, obviously. Justice, tower, right in the smack dab middle, my friends. When you bet, wow, when you balance yourself and get out of your toxic, karmic, unhealthy relationships, and when you fix your money, okay, fix your money, get more confident by doing that. Leo, healing energy, healing something about well, some old burden has to do with the devil energy here. No offense, Capricorn, okay? Wow, Aries, King of Cups. Page of Wands, inspiration, feeling inspired, feeling, I think this is about, this is really about you getting super clear, all right? This is about you blowing up some old ways of doing relationship. Some of you could also have just divorced or been divorced from an earth sign, okay? And I feel like Aries, um, I see Aries here, like I said, I see Capricorn, I see Leo, I see Libra. 
I feel like you're very well in sync with this person. I feel like you might be the, the king of cups here and see how in sync with the, with the Aries person or the, the emperor. And then also having this lovely fire. Okay. Um, it's not solely about feelings. It is about you getting stable for yourself. Okay. Um, figuring out what's been holding you back. Money could have been holding you back. And if this divorce yielded a lot of money, that's what could be giving you your stability. But it's also time to create your own stability. So devil energy, two of pentacles. This other person, maybe the person that you're breaking away from or could be divorcing, had another person, another single person. Nine of Pentacles here. Okay. You're breaking out of that, breaking away from that, getting more balanced. This is really nice energy here. Even though the tower's in the middle, I really like that on either side. Can I put this up here? Um, <laughs> Ta-da. Just see that. You see on the each side of the tower is feminine energy. It's also balanced. It's over, It's overwhelmingly healthy. Okay, so you're really um, coming into your own right now. This old, this old thing is um, old. Okay, and it's like in a in a moment, but it took a long time to get it done. So it might seem to other people like, "Wow, that was fast," or "Oh my God," but you know that this took a long time. All right. The getting out of that mindset or getting out of that, that ex's relationship or getting out of that marriage or whatever you did took a long time. It also took a long time for you to feel balanced and feel strong. All right. And that's what's happening here. I feel like there is an Aries coming in. Uh, Emperor is also husband. I know that's, I mean, if you're a man watching this, it's wife, but it can't, uh, just the masculine energy of partner. Okay, sun, more Leo, three of pentacles, five of swords, two of cups. So this person is not going to take any kind of manipulation or any kind of BS. Okay, their BS meter is very strong. Um, this person could be, you know, is very good for you, but they're not going to take any kind of emotional blackmail or any kind of anything that an uh, old habit may have been in this old relationship may have been this you know childlike kind of oh well you um, batting your eyelashes and getting the person to do what you want them to do twisting them around your finger with sex or whatever was happening this person is not going to take any of that okay so i'm not saying that you were doing that but the old relationship had some unhealthy patterns to it this new relationship, uh-uh, not doing any of that, okay? This is much more of a grown-up relationship. It's also much more healed because you've seen yourself, you've seen your own patterns in relationship. You've seen what it takes and are wanting a true soulmate now. No more of this, like, immature stuff, okay? No more of that. We're not doing that not doing that okay uh this person won't take any crap <laughs> and because i feel like they might have had that already in their life also this person is a good person to build things with so you're becoming more independent with your money this person is also not going to take any they're not going to allow you to be dependent on them so your own money is going to play a role here going to need to really work on that if you haven't already um the tower can be knocking down old beliefs around money too. Okay, your old beliefs or your old thinking that it was uh, what constituted romantic relationship might have been around, you know, your father or around your mother, uh, very unconscious. And um, you might have been like a daddy's girl who got everything they wanted um, if you're um, a man you might have had your mother really dote on you and this kind of stuff now is being, this is no longer serving you. All right. So this needs to go away. What needs to happen is 
you need to grow your inner father, your inner mother, and be really good and doting on yourself, taking good care of yourself. Part of Uranus in retrograde is self-care is going to be really important. So you can't rely, all right, or this is not going to allow you to rely on anybody else to take good care of you. You're going to need to take good care of you, okay? Whatever that means for you, you know, getting your money straight, getting your house in order, um, doing things that nurture you, move you forward, and not relying on anybody else in your life to do that. So this person now, the relationship becomes independent of any kind of co, um, codependent, negative, uh, limiting, limiting uh, ideas, okay, that really goes away. And this new thing is much more grown up, I'm going to say, and also much more solid because it doesn't matter. Like you're no longer feeling like you're at the mercy of someone else uh, financially or spiritually, emotionally, physically, in any way. There's no more of that. No more of being a sex slave. No more of being a a slave to someone else's checkbook. No more of none of that. Okay, so that's all going to go away and you're going to be able to live your life in an inspired way from your heart. This person is going to encourage that. So I'm going to keep going with this if you'd like. Um, I see a lot of Leo Aries. So I'm going to look at uh, fire signs and I see Capricorn here. Okay, fire signs and Capricorn. I'm going to look at those in the extended Aries, Leo, Sag, Cap. Okay, so the link is below for you. I will see you over there if you'd like to continue on.